Hello, this is the second part of a tutorial of creating a macro for linking your section properties to custom properties. In this video we will enhance the previously created macro and add the custom property manager page to collect the input from the user. Let's bring our macro and add some modifications. I want to add a new class module which will be representing my property manager page. Just hitting this class module and giving some name. I need to add a reference to SolidWorks Publish library, which is defining uh, the property manager page interface. So I just need to scroll down and find the SolidWorks library for adding use. So here it is, just tick it. So now I can use the interfaces for my property manager page. As you can see, my custom property manager page class implements the property manager page 2 handler 9 interface. This interface is responsible for all interaction happening on property page, such as user selection, button click, property manager page close or cancel. To provide some encapsulation and separate logic from user interface, I introduced the new event PMP closed which is passing uh, the custom argument whether the property page was okayed or cancelled. I will be listening for this event in my controller class and once it happened I will do the work. Um, at the top of the class you can see the declarations for my main page, for group and for selection box and a label box. Let's scroll down and inspect the code. So here I have some constant declaration, some public properties. This is the main method which will be showing my property manager page. So I could pass some custom arguments in there to fill my initial data. So for example, if user has a pre-selected face, I want it to appear automatically on my selection box, as well as the default uh, property name. The initialize method called once uh, when the class is created. And in this method, I'm just connecting to SolidWorks and adding all the controls to my property manager page. Finally, I will be writing the PMP closed event after property manager page is closed. Property manager page handler provides two events, on close and after close. On close is when the property manager page is not fully destroyed. So you, I still can work with the controls, while the after close appeared after property manager page is shut down, so I don't have an access to the controls anymore. As you can see, I'm collecting all the information on the on close handler. And the only thing I'm doing is the after close handler is raising the event that property manager page is closed. I have introduced the stop PMP closing event to stop property manager page to being shut down before user fills the required data. To do that, I need to raise the com exception and in this case, SolidWorks will not allow me to close the property manager page. Ok, let's now go back to our main module and make some changes. So firstly, I want to declare my property manager page variable and the header of the class. Please note that I'm using the with events prefix to allow to catch property manager page events. Now I'm initializing my variable to new instance and also catching the PMP closed event. So I just need to update my property when this event is fired. So and I can just pass the information which is collected from the property manager page. I'll just make sure that the property is only updated when the green tick is clicked on the property manager page. I just want to introduce a new method to show property manager page when the macro is executed. And from my main module I need to change the calling method from update property to show property page and I can use uh, similar parameters, so I want to pass a selected face and a default property name. Let's check how this macro works. Just hit and play and you can see the property manager page is shown. In this case I clicked uh, red cross and you see the code is not executed. Let's run it again and pre-select the face. And 
you can see that this face is now appeared in my selection box. Just put it profile 1 as a property prefix name, hit a green tick. Now this update property function will be executed. By the way, you could easily change the output units for your properties. You just need to apply the factor to convert from system units to user units. Like in this case, I'm converting from square meters to square millimeters. And if I go to my properties, you can find the section profile 1 data is added to your properties. Let's run the same macro, but select different face. So in this case, I just want to select, um, specify the new name to profile 2 and select this face. Just hit a green tick. It's again executed. And I have two properties uh, now. You can see the section property profile 2 while section property profile 1 is still listed in the custom properties. In the next video I will show you how to add a macro feature to dynamically manage section properties. Thank you for watching this video.